All right, with this point, I wanna be really clear. You have to think through layers, right? Let's say, I, I, how do you pick a good affiliate program? It's either because it's a good product or service that people wanna buy because of the product or service itself, the thing is good. Or it's a really good idea for an MLM program. Like it's got a really good payout structure, right? So it's easy to fit people in, easy to fill it out, easy for people to earn in it, okay? I'll give you two examples, right? And because the third concept is, of course, both are happening. I'll give you two examples. One, say premium coffee, right? Premier, wonderful aromatic blends created by some company in who knows where, Argentina, Guatemala, wherever, Kenya, who knows. And they make coffee, nice coffee, great tasting gourmet coffee, and they're going to send it to your door, okay? And then, uh, of course, what you can do is order some, love it, Tell some other guys to order through your link, right? And guess what? They, or, or use your coupon code, whatever it is that identifies you. It doesn't even have to be a replicated link if you're handing people a coupon code for 50 bucks off or 10 bucks off or five bucks or free first shipment or whatever it is. Now, what's the point? That half the world drinks coffee. It's like the most sold commodity on earth. <laughs> There's coffee, tea, <laughs> And then what? I mean, even when you think gas for your car, the number of gallons of gas you put in your car is often equivalent to the amount of coffee you drink in the same period of time. <laughs> a lot of people don't stop to make those comparisons, but think about it and you'll see what I mean. So if you're gonna pay for a cup of coffee way more than you would pay for the equivalent amount of liquid of gas, okay, but it's good. Hey, that's a pretty good product. Okay? And you want to offer it out because, hey, it's, it's great for an affiliate program anyway. Okay, That's interesting. Besides, I got a question. How much is it supposed to cost? Do people feel like um, they're getting overcharged when they get premier top quality coffee delivered to their door every week or whatever on auto shipment? No, <laughs> they don't. And they don't because who knows what that price is supposed to be. There is no exact fixed price, right? Right. So you have wiggle room. Guys who are interested in drinking really top quality coffee, tell them how would, you know, as long as you're sitting at your computer trying to figure out how to make a living, you're still drinking your crappy coffee. How about you switch, drink this premier coffee while you're sitting there and you don't even have to figure out how to make a living anymore except for tell other coffee drinkers, this is great coffee. They ought to hop on auto shipment and guess what? Everyone can sit around their computer drinking coffee and enjoy themselves instead of looking for a way to make a living. That's a pretty good way to go with an affiliate program. I'll give you another version though. What about a newspaper? I've seen this. Brand new newspaper takes off online, okay? And they've got their own columnists, right? And they're gonna tell you this. Hey, you know what? Hop on our newspaper, you know, online newspaper, online news, and you get to read from our column, columnists. columnists. <laughs> and when you do that, you're gonna pay 15 bucks a month for access to the newspaper, okay? But if you get a downline, okay, you get a buck off for each guy you get to hop on our uh, newsletter, our, our news. And there are a few problems with that, right? Let's look at the product. The product is this online news. Is it a good product? Do you know the columnist? No. Some of you guys are going to like one guy more than another, right? Some of you guys will listen to Rich, uh, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Some of you guys are going to listen to the economist. Uh, uh, economist. I'm tripping over my tongue by now by saying columnist. <laughs> Some of you guys are gonna be more interested in who knows who from MSNBC or Fox News. What about this new news station? They're unknown quantities. You have no idea if they're speaking liberal or conservative or what. You don't know what they're good at, what they're not. They're no-namers, they're new. So the product's an unknown quantity. See, it's not just about you, it's can you pitch that <laughs> hard? So then you say, okay, scratch that it's a product. It's not a good product. Is it a good affiliate program? No, you've got to pay 15 bucks a month for something everyone accesses for free and they get access to their favorites, favorite columnists for free. You're gonna pay 15 bucks a month for access to that. And okay, how many people do you have to recruit to make your money back and get profitable? 15. <laughs> To break even, 15, you have to explain why they want to join this new news 
paper online where nobody knows the columnists and pay 15 bucks a month each for access to that and only make a buck per person on sign up. You have to sign up 16 people just to make a buck. Um, not a good affiliate program. Here's the part I wanna wrap it up with. It's never what you can do. Can I recruit 15 people? Is never the question. It's can I convince 15 people that they can each recruit 15 people? Okay, because now you've done the complete circuit because now you can help them each learn the exact same thing that they can convince their 15 people that they can each um, recruit 15 people. Each of their 15 have to be convinced by it. Well, that's not easy to do with that online newspaper, right? So it's not a good affiliate program either. Okay, so it's neither a good product nor a good affiliate program. What are things that are not good? Things that um, have forced matrices are usually not good. Things that are too commonplace are usually not good. Things that don't stand out because they're not unique enough are usually not good. Um, and then there are things that are pretty good, but you really have to be passionate about it. Say you wanted to sell Maybelline or Avon or some other skincare product, right? Easier to do when you're passionate about it, right? Melaleuca or who knows what. There's all these programs come and go over the years, right? But if you're really passionate about certain things, you can do it. But you really need to know what you're talking about because you're, you're going to explain to a level of quality where guys want it, right? So that can be good products again. And then maybe good affiliate programs as well. But if, if you have a good product that tends to make for a good affiliate program, as long as there's profit in there somewhere. Okay. I think I've gone over that far enough, so I'm going to break this off. We'll hop into the next topic soon, but this is all adding up. I'm making sure we move in the right direction. Okay.